Hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Let me send them. I'm fine. How what about you? you? Good evening, teacher. Good, excellent. Uh, excellent. Thanks, God. I'm here. And uh, sad at the same time because today is our last class. So, yeah, uh, right. Thanks, God, that we, well, on one hand, thanks, God, that we are finishing and I've been a very good witness of your English advance. Okay. So, you're Thank on a, you very much. in a good path, in a good way. So, never keep learning. Okay. Thank you for so, your support. Ah, uh, no, my pleasure. Okay, so let's try to finish with the last activity. Today, I hope that you have your manual over there. And, and, uh, yeah, we have it. Okay, ready to work. Ready. It was AO3. So, uh, Okay, so ah, uh, what am I? What am I? I think I got the wrong one. Yes, this is the correct. Okay. So today, what day is it today? Thursday, November 23rd, 2023. 2023. Okay, so uh, today is uh, class 16. So it means it's the last class of this module. Okay, so very sad, but very happy at the same time. <laughs> okay, okay. Yesterday we were trying to answer, and sorry, I forgot to send you the, the audio. Um, uh, yesterday we were talking about, uh, we, were, we were listening to some callers and Dr. Hilda, uh, to Dr. Hilda and Dr. Hilda giving some advice or suggestions to these callers, okay? So yep. let, let's try to... Uh, to answer the question, what happened to the caller? What did the caller do? Um, and uh, uh, what should the caller have done? Okay, we're going to listen to the audio again, but this time everybody has to answer the three questions. What I'm going to do, yesterday I asked some of you to focus on certain questions, but this time, I'm going to play the whole audio. You listen and don't try to do anything. And then I will play the audio and uh, I will stop after each caller and you will have time to answer the questions. Okay. So, okay. Let me see. I got a message over here today. You can participate. Ah, okay. Okay. We're talking about Elizabeth Nerango. Okay. Good. Thank you, Mel. Page 96, exercise 11, listening, part A. Listen to people calling Dr. Hilda, a counselor on a radio talk show. Complete the chart. This is Dr. Hilda. Welcome to today's show. Now let's get started right away with our first caller. Hello. Hello, Dr. Hilda. I'm calling about my daughter. She's, she's dating an older man. Oh, now how old are these two people? My daughter's 18 and this man is 42. Mm-hmm. I told her she had to stop seeing him and, and now she won't speak to me. I feel terrible. Tell me, Dr. Hilda, what should I have done? First, you should have spoken to this 42-year-old man. You should have asked him not to date your daughter for a couple of weeks, to give the situation some time to cool off. Then, if they still wanted to see each other, and if the man seems like a nice person, you should let your daughter date him. 
You shouldn't worry so much about the age difference. Okay, now let's go to our next caller. Hello, caller. Hello. Uh, I'm a first-time caller, and, uh, well, my problem is that my father went away on a business trip, and I borrowed his brand-new car, and I had a bad accident. Where is your mother? She's in Florida, visiting some friends. All right, go on. Well, I sent a telegram to my father, and I... I told him... Well, I told him someone had stolen the car. Oh! You should have told your father the truth. Your father would probably understand about a car accident, and he would be glad you weren't hurt. I'm not too sure about that. Oh, give it a try, young man, because the truth is always better than a lie. Okay, now let's hear from our next caller. This is Dr. Hilda. You're on the air. Hi, uh, I'm calling about a problem. Oh, it's kind of a personal problem. It concerns work. Oh, yes, go on. Well, uh, I invited some friends from the office to my house for a party a couple of weeks ago. Everything was fine until someone started talking about politics. Oh, you shouldn't have let the subject of politics come up. Well, it came up, and, uh, well... I finally got really angry at one of my co-workers, and, uh, to prevent a fight, I asked him to leave. And? What happened after that? Well, now it's caused a big problem in the office. Uh, he won't speak to me. Again, you shouldn't have talked about politics at a party. It's not a safe topic. That's for sure. And you shouldn't have gotten so angry, either. That's true, but what should I do now? It's easy. You should simply apologize to your friend and say that you were a fool. Well, maybe that's a good idea. I'll give it a try. Good. Well, folks, nothing, nothing gained, I always say. I'm Dr. Hilda. Until the next time. Okay, now let's listen to each caller, and I will stop the audio and give it some, uh, like, uh, one and a half or two minutes to answer the question. Uh, yes, Brenda? Mr. What is the meaning and uh, speed in the color tree? A speed? Yes. Uh, a, a, the, is, uh, S. P E E D. Car so speed. Have, yeah, car speed. Oh, it's uh going too fast. So fast. No, yeah, the color tree. Uh, talking about the the problem is the politic, and the her her friends the speed the speed. Uh, I don't know the speed. I uh, I think. Uh, pink, uh, okay. Dijo algo sobre speed in algo más speed me. Uh, like, uh, speed is to escupir a alguien also. Uh-huh, that's a speed. Uh, someone speeds okay. for me. Okay, I'll, um, remind, I will try to get the idea, but it should be like something like that. You know, when okay. you speak to, uh, you scoop a alguien, they speed on it. Uh-huh. Uh, okay. Let's try. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you for asking. Uh, yes, Valenda. Sorry, Mister. Ah, okay, no, no <laughs> Por Page ninety-six, okay. exercise eleven, listening. Okay, I will stop the audio after the first call. What happened to the caller? What did the caller do? And what should the caller have done? Those are the three answers. Part A. Listen to people calling Dr. Hilda, a counselor on a radio talk show. Complete the chart. This is Dr. Hilda. Welcome to today's show. 
Now let's get started right away with our first caller. Hello. Hello, Dr. Hilda. I'm calling about my daughter. She's, she's dating an older man. Oh. Now, how old are these two people? My daughter's 18, and this man is 42. Mm-hmm. I told her she had to stop seeing him, and, and now she won't speak to me. I feel terrible. Tell me, Dr. Hilda, what should I have done? First, you should have spoken to this 42-year-old man. You should have asked him not to date your daughter for a couple of weeks, to give the situation some time to cool off. Then, if they still wanted to see each other, and if the man seems like a nice person, you should let your daughter date him. You shouldn't worry so much about the age difference. Okay. Okay, you have like two minutes to answer the question. Okay, I need three volunteers for this one. Question number one, who would like to answer? Three volunteers. Raise your hands, please. What happened to the caller? Yes, Don Vicente? Uh, caller, um, what happened to the caller? Uh -huh. The caller says that her daughter is dating uh, an older man. Okay. Uh, and, uh, okay, uh -huh. that's it, that's it. Thank you very much. Her daughter. Um, her daughter is dating. Is uh, dating. And older. Older man. Okay, older thank man. you. Thank you very okay. much, Don. And the next participant, who would like to answer, what did the caller do? Uh-huh. What did she do? Who would like to answer that? Raise your hand, please. Uh-huh. Uh, teacher, yes. the mother, uh, the mother, is short talk to the older man. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. She, uh huh. Wow. See, man, so that uh, respects her daughter uh -huh. and stay and is, and stays away from here. Okay, good. Let me write that one. So, uh, uh the mother. As oh, it's not writing. Mother, not writing. Mother uh, should. Talk. Okay, let's see the the mother. Yeah. Now yes. As the man to mm -hmm. uh, man to stop, stop. Uh, dating to dating. Stop. 
the the girl. Let's say the girl. The girl. Yeah, the girl. right. Okay, the girl. Okay. Thank you. Very good, Don Luis. Okay, who would okay. like to answer number three? Another volunteer? Uh, what should the caller have done according to Dr. Hilda? Uh huh. Another volunteer? Hello. Don Juan Antonio. What do you think? Uh, mm, let me see. Let me remember that. Okay. Because what? I was scared. Ah, okay. If you don't have the question, if you don't have uh, an idea, it's okay, Don Juan Antonio. Don't, don't bother. Yeah, I, but maybe that is the true next. I was uh, working in another thing my, to my job. Sorry, uh, I put. No, okay, okay. That, no there. problem. No problem. Yeah. Let's let's give the opportunity okay. to someone else. Thank you. Uh, what do you think, Brenda? Yes, Mister. The the doctor Hilda recommend her mother uh talking about her daughter and the uh, men all men to ask it to stop dating okay so so doctor um, Hilda uh, uh, said, no. suggest or uh, suggest. Uh huh. Oh, okay. Uh, Doctor Hilda. Uh, suggested. No, how we pull it? Uh, Doctor Hilda said. Uh huh. Let me just put this one. Oh. oh. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> uh -huh. Dr. Hilda said she uh -huh, she shouldn't have worried about it, right? Something like yes. that. Yes, right. Uh -huh, Say something it. like that. Uh -huh, something like that. Okay, so let's see number two. We're uh, we're trying to answer over here as with with our own words. Okay, so don't worry. Uh, it's it's with me, Mister. Uh huh. Okay, the color two uh, is uh, uh, boy. Let, okay, let's uh, let's uh, play the audio first, and then yeah, you, listen you, again. You give the oh, answer. Okay. okay, sorry, Mister. No, but you're the next. Okay, don't worry. Thank you very much. Now, let's go to our next caller. Hello, caller. Hello. Uh, I'm a first-time caller, and, uh, well, my problem is that my father went away on a business trip, and I borrowed his brand-new car, and I had a bad accident. Where is your mother? She's in Florida, visiting some friends. All right, go on. Well... I sent a telegram to my father, and I I told him, well, I told him someone had stolen the car. Oh, you should have told your father the truth. Your father would probably understand about a car accident, and he would be glad you weren't hurt. I'm not too sure about that. Oh, give it a try, young man, because the truth is always better than a lie. Okay, now let's hear from our next caller. Okay. This is Dr. Hilda. Okay. Uh huh, Brenda. Yes, Mister. Um, the caller two. Uh, take that new, brand new car. Her father. Uh huh. And 
uh, have bad accidents. Ah, okay. Uh, the boy. Aha, uh -huh. the boy, right? The boy. Yes, the boy. Uh, have accident. The, a bad, a bad accident. 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 Okay. Uh, on the on the car. Okay. On the uh, car, yes. Sarai, and what did the caller do? Uh -huh, Sarai, what did the caller do? Oh, sorry, sorry, I was speaking mute. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Uh, Andrea? Uh huh. He is the. He sent a telegram in oh. which he lied about what had happened to the car. Okay, he. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, he sent a message or a telegram. Uh huh. And telling the father what? Uh huh. Telling the father what? Don't remember. Mm -hmm. oh, someone I, else? I know he lied. Ah, he lied. Yes. Okay. Okay. You know that he lied. Okay. And, uh, mm hmm. And, and what was the light? Someone can help uh, us, please, uh, Andrea and I? What was the and light about? The light was that someone stole his car. Uh-huh. That uh, someone stole the car. Okay. Uh, let me just uh, finish uh with because i had okay okay uh and what about what the doctor hilda said about it What did Dr. Sil uh, Hilda said about it? Yes, Sarai? Uh, the doctor recommended boy that he should talk with his father and he, tell when it's true. Uh -huh. He should have said the truth and uh, the truth to his father okay he should have said the truth to his father because what will the father do according to dr hilda uh-huh yes brenda claribel yes Mar yes mr um the Dr. Hilda said it's better to talk the truth. Okay, to talk so. to, with the truth. Mm -hmm. Okay, because his father probably uh, will understand, right? Okay, yes, that, that's the scene over there. Okay, let's see uh, the last one, the last caller. You're on the air. Hi, uh, I'm calling about a problem. Oh, it's kind of a personal problem. It concerns work. Oh, yes, go on. Well, uh, I invited some friends from the office to my house for a party a couple of weeks ago. Everything was fine until someone started talking about politics. Oh, you shouldn't have let the subject of politics come up. Well, it came up, and, uh, well... I finally got really angry at one of my co-workers, and uh, to prevent a fight, I asked him to leave. And? What happened after that? 
Well, now it's caused a big problem in the office. Uh, he won't speak to me. Again, you shouldn't have talked about politics at a party. It's not a safe topic. That's for sure. And you shouldn't have gotten so angry, either. That's true. But what should I do now? It's easy. You should simply apologize to your friend and say that you were a fool. Well, maybe that's a good idea. I'll give it a try. Good. Well, folks, nothing ventured, nothing gained, I always say. Uh, I'm Dr. Hilda until... He said he won't speak to me. That was the question, right? Yep. Yeah, he yeah. wanted. Yeah, he will not talk to me anymore. Uh huh. It, it sounds by it's like spit on it. It's to escupir a alguien also. Okay, spit. It's S P I T. That's a spit to a spit to escupir a alguien. But in this case, he mm -hmm. said he won't speak to me. Speak. He will not. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. He will not talk to me anymore. But Keep we silent. Learned, Yes, but you learn something like spit. That's a spit. To do it on the street, to do it <laughs> yes, on Mr. somebody. <laughs> okay. Okay, good. And I don't think what the, what the, the thing. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, no, no, no. It, it was about, <laughs> I was modeling. But that's the thing. Okay. So who wants to answer number, uh, what's happened to caller number uh, number three? Uh-huh, yes, Don Vicente. The third caller says that he invite um, some friends from the office and everything wa was very nice until, some of them start talking about politics. Okay, good. Thank you. So uh, let's say there was a party at the office and someone started. I guess the, the party is in, in the uh, house of the uh -huh. corner. Yeah, talking about politics. 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 Uh huh. Okay. And what did the caller do? Uh, someone? Let me see who's. who's... Yes, Don Juan Antonio? Yes, uh, I am here. Uh, okay. Uh -huh. um, let me. Let me remember. Um, uh, this man. Uh, this man, uh, I, uh, and I spoke, but uh, they, uh, he was uh, angry. Uh, okay. She told him that they, the, the uh, she Leave told her. him that go, go, uh, go out, go out. About uh, your your house. Ah, okay. So uh, mm -hmm. he asked. Uh, he said something. I don't. Uh, he said something about politics. Ask, to ask to live. Ask to live. So he. Uh, he. Asked, asked the, the uh, man the to leave the house. Man to live. Uh, right away. Let's say right. Away, right immediately. Away. Uh, right away means immediately. immediately. Okay, and yeah. according to Doctor Hilda, uh, who would like to answer number three? What uh, he should have done? Uh huh. According to Doctor Hilda. Who would like to answer? Uh, Andrea, is there? Yes, uh, she uh, told him to apologize. 
Ah, okay. So Dr. Hilda uh, said that that he should um, should have uh, apologized. Just to other guys. Uh -huh, with the man, uh, to the other guy. Okay, this is more alike. Uh, thank you very much. You did very well. So this is this is more alike it like like the things that we uh they were discussing about. So let's uh have erased this one and um and take this one out. Okay, these are some things that, uh, first of all, the uh, color solar, 18 years old, is aging all the men that we already said, you, we already say. So, and uh, the color, so asking number, uh, color told uh, to stop seeing the man. You say it already, you said it already. And now the daughter won't speak to the color, the, her mother, okay, who feels, Terrible. And according to Dr. Uh, Hilda, uh, she should have spoken to the man and asked him to leave to uh, to not to date uh, the daughter for a few weeks. Uh, you already said, but we use other words, but I is understood and you did very well on that one. Okay, so on color number two, uh, colored borrowed father's new car and and had a bad accident. Okay, you already said very good. And what is the the next one that uh, that we have over there? What is the next one? Color sent telegram. Said. Send telegram. Uh, Say someone had the stolen car. Is that what you say, guys? Is that what you say? Yeah. Yes or no? Yes, that's that's correct. Yes. Uh, and uh, according to Dr. Hilda, he should have told the truth. Father will probably understand or be glad the son won't hurt. You already said that. Yes. In other words, but you say it. And it was under understood. And color number three, what happened to the color? Color has some of his friends over for party. Mm -hmm. Okay, color has some of his friends over the party. Okay, and you already said. And uh, someone else read the, uh, what happened to the color? Color had discussion about politics and got really angry and one co-worker to prevent fight. Asked mm -hmm. the co-worker to leave. No man, wanna speak to him. Yes, I uh, wanna speak to him. Uh, you said that, right? And who would like to read number three? Someone else? According to Dr. Hilda? Children. How talked about politics. Sultan have gotten so angry, so simply apologized to men. Say he was a fool. A fool. He was a fool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was a fool, he said. It was some tonto, right? Okay, good. Excellent. Uh three things uh, that I mentioned yesterday the North American people or British people do not talk. What are the three things that I mentioned yesterday? Don't talking about with politics. Politics. One. Religious. Religious. Two. And salaries. And salaries and money. They don't care about how much money, money they, you, you make. If you make more than them or less than them. So three things that are very delicate uh, topics. Uh, so they never talked about it. Okay. So I'm uh, talking about uh, the things that the color, 
Have you ever read a newspaper uh, writing or where you send letters to someone? I don't know who reads uh, one of the newspaper uh, from El Salvador. I don't know why, if it's La Prensa Gráfica or Diario de Hoy, who had Cartas a Maria. Have you ever seen it? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes, yes do I they? remember. Yeah, do, do you know if they still have that column? I remember that as a boy, I used to read that. Well, after I learned to read, how to read, how to read. I, do you know if there is still Cartas a Maria? Or, yes, mister. And there is still Cartas a Maria. Okay. What is, what do, uh, let me go back. What do people usually write about it? Asking Maria, uh, what do you, people write to Maria uh, about it? Or they usually write? What topic? Problems, 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 personal problems. Uh huh. Personal problems. What else? I think it's uh, remember uh, about the love, about love. Ah, okay. Uh, so between... about love, about uh huh, about love. Yeah, uh, some people uh, write like uh, it's, you say a personal problem about romance, about, romance, about love. Uh, that there, there are different type of topics that you say over there. So there you have uh, us, Alice, and this is Alice. And uh, let's see, I would like some of you read. Let's start with you, uh, Sarai. Dear Ali, someone told me. Dear Ali, someone told me that my brother's girlfriend was dating another guy. I felt I should let my brother know. And after I did, he confronted her with a story. Although she denied it, it caused a true argument and they almost broke up. Now, it turns out that the rumor wasn't true, and my brother wants to stop speaking to me. Distractor sister. Okay, good. Excellent. Sorry. Don Vicente, you raise your hand. Dear Alice, I was a, at a okay, friend. Okay, the, the second. Yes. Dear Alice, I was at a friend house for dinner recently. During dinner, I accidentally broke a beautiful waist. Uh, no, be beautiful base. It was my, it was my friend's favorite wedding present. I offered to pay for it, but she refused. Should I have uh, ins insisted? I still feel bad about it. Feeling. Guilty. I still feel bad. About okay. It. Okay. Who wants to read number four and feeling number three? Guilty. Number three, volunteer. Okay, Brenda. Sure. Okay. Dear Alice, my son is 23 years old. He finished college last year, but he can't see it to find a job that he likes. He still lives at home. And I'm worried that he's not trying hard enough to get a job and be on his own. Meanwhile, I've been cooking his meals and doing his laundry. Tired mom. <laughs> yeah, okay, good, excellent. Uh, who wants to read the first response? Oh, no, other volunteers. Me, teacher. Okay, uh, you and then Don Juan Antonio. Wendy? Uh -huh. Okay, Wendy? Dear, okay. Dear, you make it, it too easy for him to say where he is. 
different <laughs> and tell him he has to move to find a job, any job, and get his one, one place he's all know to, to take care of himself. But you have to be willing to let him go. Alice. Okay, Alice. Okay, good. Don Juan Antonio, the next one. You should have... Don Juan Antonio. Okay, yes. You should be more careful, carefully before you act. It wasn't necessary to get angry. Next time, speak to, to the child immediately and warn him or her not to do it again. Alice. Alice, good. Uh, another participant who would like to answer, the, I mean, no, not to answer, to read the next one. Well, you learn. Well, you learn a lesson. You should have listened to gossip and you should have passed it on. Now you have to repair the damage. Apologize sincerely and hope that the word forgive and forget. Okay, good. Uh, Wendy? Dear, I think you did the right thing. It was important to offer to pay for for it, but it's not surprising that she refused. Perfect, you could give her a special gift to make for it, Ali. Okay, now you're going to let me. You're going to read the letters to Alice. I will give you individually in your manual and uh, Alice advice column and the replies and then match the letters with the replies. What are the letters? The letters that we have is, uh, yeah, the, the letters, the first one, the first one is from a uh, distract, uh, distract Sister. Yeah, the next one is uh, feeling guilt. Feeling guilt. And the next one is tired man. Tired mom. Okay, which one will be the 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 Alice respond from here? We're going to choose or the match. Yeah, to choose what is the Alice response. There are res uh, four response, but one will not be used. And the other, uh, and the others match with the letters. I'll give you uh, like, uh huh. Uh, I think uh, that uh, where say I think you did the right thing in the second, uh, the second response. Um, a message. Yeah, I, I respond. Uh, yeah, the second carta teacher. I, I don't remember. Ah, the second letter. Hey, yeah, the second, the letter. second letter. The respond. I think you did the right thing. Okay, it was important. Okay, so uh, uh, do the rest and we'll discuss it in about four or five minutes. But maybe you're right on that one. I'll give you five minutes. I cannot send you to uh, break a room from now because the time is almost over and work individually. I'll give you like five minutes. Okay.
Yes, Brenda? Sorry, mister. Este día estoy bien preocupada. ¿Por qué? And the gossip is uh, mentiras, right? Yes, that's, no, uh, gossip is uh, chambres. Oh. A gossip. Oh. Mm -hmm. Thank you. A gossip is chambre. No, don't worry. Okay. Ask, ask anything you like. Mentiras is a lie. And gossip. Okay, Don Juan Antonio. Okay, let's uh, let's try to check it out uh, from letter one. What will be the response? Brenda, you were saying that? Okay, the number one, the distraught dis sister. Uh -huh, the distraught sister. Is, um, uh, uh, it's a... Uh, is this is this mister which one ah okay uh so well uh let me read it uh let me read it for you uh market market uh uh brenda i read 
Uh, yes. Retarda. Okay. Well, you learned a lesson you shouldn't have listened to gossip. And you shouldn't have passed in on. Now you have to repair the damage. Apologize sincerely and hope that he will forget and forget. Alice. Oh, okay, well, that's for, uh, that's for uh, letter one, right? Oops. That's yes, right. Uh, letter Is that one. The Is sister. That sister. Okay. Uh, who would like to uh, match number two? To say which one is number two? Which one is the response? Me. Okay. Uh -huh. Go ahead, Sarai. Uh, dear, you're making it too easy for him to stay where he is. Be free and tell him he has two months to find a job, any job, and get his own place. He's all enough to take care of himself. But you have to be willing to let him go. Okay, that's yeah. for letter number two. Ah, uh, what is this? What is the nickname? Uh, Tyre Mon. And Tyre Okay, so th uh, those are nicknames. Okay, so those are called nicknames. Okay, good. Thank you very much, uh, Sarah and Brenda. And Don Vicente, which one will be the match for number three? Number. No, number three is done. No, it's it was number. Uh, Brenda, it was yeah. number one for you, right? Or number three? <laughs> yes, Mister. But uh, Tarai respond number three. Ah, okay. Yeah. And then we missing number two. Number two. Uh huh. Number two is feeling guilt guilty. Uh huh. And it's what the we'll last word? Which it's the one? last one. Read, read I it? think you. I think you did the right thing. It was important the uh, offer to pay for it, but it's not surprising that she refused. Perhaps you could give her a special gift to make up for it. Ah, uh, okay. Feeling so guilty. feeling guilty. Okay. It's the last see. one. It's the last one. So here we says Alice letters uh, signed by distracted sister. And Alice respond is while well, you learn a lesson. Okay, uh, feeling guilty. Uh, I think you did the right thing. And tired mom, you're making it easy for him. Is that correct? Yes, teacher. Yes, Andrea. Good. Excellent. Excellent. I think we're, uh, we're about to finish with just a couple of minutes. Okay, this is something that I had, but um, uh, an extra in just in case. So let me take attendance. We still have five minutes, okay? Because I came to, we start working at 8.02. Uh, let me look for the, for the attendance. Uh, for the attendance. Time goes really fast, eh? Yeah, right. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see if I know what's my name. I have a lot of lists over here. I saw yours. Yeah, here it is. Uh, Ana Sonia Elizabeth. Present teacher. Andrea Estera Costa. Present teacher. Brenda Claribel Mejia Segovia. I'm here, mister. Uh, Cecilio Antonio Cortez Escobar, Claudia Maria Gomez González, 
Present teacher. Eugenio Ernesto Martínez Fuentes. Present, mister. Jennifer Nauset Arevalo. Present. Juan Antonio Brande Paz. Present, teacher. Catherine Mariel Vázquez Flores. Laura Concepción. Lorena Araceli Hernández. Present teacher, Catherine, I'm here. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. I didn't mention, right? I didn't mention you. Yes, you did, but I couldn't able the, ah. the microphone. Ah, okay. Good. But you okay, answer. thank you. Okay, uh, Luis Alfredo Aguilar. Present teacher. Maria Jose Najarro Mejibar. Noé Ezequiel Rivera Medrano. Present teacher. Norma Lisset Crespín Orellana. Saraí Noemi Trejos. Present teacher. Vicente Israel Sánchez Erazo. Present teacher. And Wendy Lisset Carías de Cedillos. Present teacher. Okay, good. Okay, guys. So uh, we have still two minutes. What what was the class about? What topics did we talk? Do you remember? Uh huh. Can someone say it? Today or when? No, the, during the whole module. What was it? What were the topics about? What did we learn? The first section, it really worth seeing. Uh-huh. We talk about what, uh, Brenda? Talking about the passive with by simple pass. Ah, passive, simple pass. Okay. And uh, and and uh, what what were the topics about it? Passive uh, with. I think it was an, uh, about New York, uh, tourist places, and things like that, right? Yep. And the, and the second section, what what was? It's passive, passive. Passive with buy. Ah, passive with buy. Okay, so it was built Simple by. Part. It was written by. Uh huh. By, yeah. uh -huh. It was written by. It was taught by and so on. And the next week, the second week, I remember it's been a long time. It's been a long time. What were the forms over there? I remember teacher when I uh, talk about the what kind of movie are you interested in? Ah. Why? Pass continuous yes, versus continuous. simple pass, mister. Okay, pass continuous with versus simple pass. We yes. talk about movies. Uh -huh. yes. We talk yes. about yes. movies. Uh -huh. Being an actor. And we were discussing some books uh, with some movies over there, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. Okay, so those are the things. And the next topic was? Pass it without buy. Okay, yeah, pass it without buy. So I think we have learned uh, something a lot. Uh, okay, so thank you very much. It has been a big pleasure uh, to be with you. I hope uh, to see you on uh, further levels. Are there... Uh, uh modules over there mm -hmm. and it's it was a yep. good it was a pleasure to work with me uh thank you very much thank you very much teacher. thank you for your apology mr thank you very much bye see you around bye, bye. See you around. Right.